Kronos against BDC. Here we are for Kronos. Kronos is on a downwards trend. Again, as long as we are under the skinny pink line, we remain with our bearish bias for Kronos. BDC against USD. Kronos is, again, under the skinny pink line. So the moment you go under the skinny pink line, that's it. We will uh, assume that Kronos is already in a bearish trend until we break back up. Okay, let me give you an example. If you look back in the past, you will see that Kronos had a fall under the skinny pink line over here, right? But eventually, we broke back up for a super run. So at this moment, uh, there's no confirmation yet. This was an inverse head and shoulders. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Reversal! Okay, for Kronos against USD, what reversal? There's no reversal. There's nothing yet. I mean, of course, sure, you know, after the next few weeks, uh, months maybe, we might get an inverse head and shoulders. But as it stands, I don't see it. And uh, if you were to cut through, right, this looks like a head and shoulders. So, you know, Kronos is not really looking that good. So, uh, it's, I would preach patience. Uh, from a bullish perspective, sure, and you can con consider this as already, you know, five ways down. And we could be going back up. Sure, of course, the same thing happened over here. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. We come back up. But I still would need, I mean, we still need to see uh, some bullish signs first. No bullish signs yet. So, you're yeah, going to be patient and we're going to wait for you know, things to move around a little bit for Kronos first.